and I sat at a bench and ate while I tried to drown out the bullshit racket around me. As soon as I finished eating, I was out of here. Nothing to see, nothing else to do. I was down to my last chicken medallion when I heard a harsh, familiar voice address me again. So, the little bitch boy showed up to taint the air again. My appetite vanished from recognition, and my mood got ten times worse when I looked up and saw Chet Goyne staring at me with his usual demeaning expression. Talia was at his side, but I didn't even bother to look in her direction as Chet sat down at my bench, obviously trying to intimidate me. So you did. I burned into him, throwing his own insult in his face. I didn't think you'd have the balls to show your face around here again after our little altercation. He ignored my jab. If you think I'm afraid of you, you're sadly mistaken. Guys, Talia looked down on us with concern etched across her pretty face. Is this really necessary? Shut up, cunt, Chet barked at her, and she cowered. And there was a hint of breaking that wasn't there before, and it only fueled my anger. He had laid his hands on her. I was sure of it now.